Hello, everyone, and welcome to To Be Released. Uh, we're here. We're back. Hello. We yeah, we exist. So, Zen, let me ask you a real question. Why is it that uh, only anime and manga have a thing of where they say the main character should be the one to shouldn't be always the one to win? That's a good question. I guess they never really know it. Ever. And was like, God damn it! Why didn't Ron get any of these kills? Yeah, no one ever read like to, to kill a mockingbird and go like, "When's Jam's brother gonna get in on this action? When is the other? <laughs> when is Jem gonna save the man on trial for the heinous crime that he's being falsely accused of? That never happens. <laughs> yeah, I never thought about that. That's now that you now that you like have brought it to my attention. I kind of hate it. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like, and this came from the fact that I saw uh, you and Penta talking about Penta talk about uh, one of his favorite moments, which is the uh, the Kamehameha with Gohan, and you brought up the right. the spirit bomb with Goku, one of your favorites. Uh, and someone said uh, the only reason why he thought the Gohan one was better is that Goku didn't get the win. And I looked no, at it. We established that. Gohan or that Goku almost doesn't get the wins like that often. Yeah. So it felt weird to me because then it hit me of like, well, this happens in other animes for sure. I think we talked about it. I think the, um, I know that's a problem with uh, My Hero. That's the reason why we had the shitty arc that we had is that people wanted to see other characters that weren't Deku. And yeah, he. So we get that sh- shitty arc of all, all like the C-, C team characters that suck. Yeah, and I was forced to talk to maybe the character that I've hated most uh, now, now that Bakugo seems to be on a level playing field of, like, you're um, you're okay. There's now a character that has replaced him, which is that kid in B-team that just won't shut the fuck up. Uh, oh, I hate... Oh, I, yeah, the kid of... Uh, the one who's just like, ha, ha, fuck Class A, fuck them, ah. Yeah. yeah. He seems to be like the like the sad kid who was like, no, our camp team needs to beat the other one. And I'm like, this character sucks. Why are you forcing me to listen to anything what he has to do? This character could get smoked by a gun and I would not care. Uh, also, his power kind of su- like Kind of good, but it also kind of sucks. Yeah. It's one of those like uh, abilities that... Have, uh, they it's it feels weird it just feels weird and the more they explain it feels weird but again really why is it mostly uh anime there's it's anime manga and then one other place it's wrestling like wrestling is the only other place where they'll go like oh why why is john cena winning why is roman reigns winning why can't this this guy on the side here be the guy who's the main champion well with wrestling i can sort of see it it's not like John Cena is the established protagonist of the story of the... I watch it. <laughs> but I don't think there's ever like a a, a one per although maybe there is, because when I watched it, it Cold was just that he was the he was Goku. Yeah. So maybe I'm wrong. I'll I'll say for wrestling it depends on the popularity of a person. Sometimes they definitely like I wanna say the maybe the closest now in terms of uh I guess before he had to take time away from uh, battling leukemia, Roman Reigns was basically the John Cena spot where he was basically seen as like the Goku of the WWE. He wasn't the most, I think, you know, popularity can kind of wane because you talk to actual wrestling fans and then you talk to people who like wrestling. It's two different mindsets. So I can see that. (laughs) So, yeah. So I think that's where it's like, it's them anime and manga where they're like, I don't know. I just don't, I don't understand it. Like, why? Because, again, when I was reading Harry Potter, I wasn't ever feeling like, you know what? Ron should beat Voldemort for this one. He should step up. Yeah, and why didn't uh, like the, Hermione the, get the kill here? <laughs> the closest you get is that Neville got to kill Nagini, and that was because he could have yeah. also been Harry. <laughs> so yeah. that, that's the closest you get there. But I don't know. feels Nagini, weird. Nagini, isn't she like a weird in Instead of just a snake. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, according to the the most recent one, is that they unfortunately made her uh, the wrong. I think ra- it was a whole thing. I don't know. The the extended. Rowling is a weird lady. 
the series ended. Uh, speaking of like two authors who continuously add things to their universe that is not needed, Akira Toriyama and J.K. Rowling back at it again, back yeah, on their. Both really good at that. Shit. They may as well do a combined anime slash manga together and just go like full on like okay, our, we're mixing the two universes, Harry Potter versus DB. I'm sure which. No, I really, really want to watch uh, a Med draws mages whatever the wizards shit out of their pants like you said that they they do oh yeah the good thing is that if you actually t- uh, gave that to akira toriyama he's like i can draw wizards shitting themselves are you kidding me <laughs> that's i would love to draw that that is extremely on brand for me let me show you this one panel uh that i had majin Buu literally trying to shit <laughs> did you guys not, not read dr slump one of my main things is her poking the yeah she literally pokes shit there you go that's how you get and then Aureli joins the wizarding world of harry potter and everything goes good so yeah that that that's my main question i want to ask everyone out there if they know like why just why 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 do you think that anime and manga specifically with the main characters are like i don't know give someone else the spot because again it does not happen with books it does not happen with anything else it doesn't have you don't watch captain america and go like i wish i hope black widow kills the villain in this one yeah, and no one, you know, Star Wars, and then you're like, like oh, I really hope that is the one that uh, finally defeats the Emperor. Yeah, and then when the Ewoks kill the Emperor, they're like, what the fuck? Why wasn't it the Rebellion? <laughs> so people literally like... <laughs> I'll let you guys think of that as we now get into what we are here to do, to be released. We're here to put some boys up on this scale. Are you ready, Zen? I am ready. That was quite a tangent we started this episode with, by yeah. the way. I've decided that all episodes are just going to start with that way because we need a good buffer to go into the scale. So it's going to be now, from now on, right. whatever I'm thinking of at this moment, big boy scale questions. All right, I'm good. I'm good with that. Yeah. Uh, so we're we're still on a mystical adventure. We're still here trying to find them Dragon Balls. I'm not going to put it in every time we say them yeah. Dragon <laughs> Okay, this one time. <laughs> 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 this is a gag only me and you like <laughs> <That> was... <laughs> uh, you're not wrong you're 100% not wrong no only I, me and you enjoy this gag <laughs> it's so fucking funny <laughs> alright <laughs> let's get into this first unit up on the big boy scale is illusionary ritual master Roshi is the Ro- Roshi doing uh the evil containment wave, aka Mafubo, whatever one you want to say, they're both basically the same thing. Uh, his leader skill is. Yeah. I just like saying evil containment wave. It, like, it's a more mouthful. It's more to say, but I like saying it. Yeah, I feel like that's a, that's a thing with all the Funimation names. It's like, does it really have to be long? Do we have to do this? Yeah, they're, they're very long. Cannon, are you kidding me? Oh yeah, the special beam cannon. It's always like three, le- like, except for Destructo Disc. That's the only one where it's like, uh, not that this way. This is another minor tangent. I think I hate the name Special Beam Cannon more than anything in the world. Because it's, it's, <laughs> because it's very generic. So first of all, why do you, you really don't need to have beam and cannon because you're, you're basically, it's the same fucking thing. And then what, why is it special? <laughs> What about it is special? The special... Be- yeah, there is really, like, at least with Destructo Disc, you know for a fact it is destroying. Evil Containment Wave, evil is being contained. Kamehameha, that's just the name of it. You can't change Kamehameha. You can't call it, like, uh, key, <laughs> key, Keyhole or something. There's nothing. Uh, tr- uh, Triangle Beam, it's just fun to say he puts up the he put he throws up the rock you understand it special beam cannon doesn't make any sense it's literally the most generic what name what does that even mean it's like it mean anything it's just three words they slapped together and they were like yeah that's fucking cool it sounds like google translate trying cannon. to translate a passive skill when piccolo get a hundred t- attack 200 percent up special beam cannon launched <laughs> Reminds me, like, they do that with all the new moves in, like, the video games and stuff, too. Mm. Where, like, attack can't just be key sword or something. It's, like, a boss god slicer. 
<laughs> like, are you shitting me? Who made this? Who named this? That's why eventually now, well, now that we're in modern day, uh, they have two separate cuts of the English dub. One where they say the legit name, and one where they say the 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 names we just kind of get used to now. We just begrudgingly accept. Yeah. The funny thing is, is that uh, Destructo Disc, for example, that came from like Ocean Dub, because I remember that Krillin going, did. Destructo Disc, ah, <laughs> like he says it in that exact tone. Yeah, I remember. If anyone again has not seen uh, the Ocean Dub for um <laughs> for Dragon for the for the Turtles movie, you should totally watch it. It's amazing. Oh, that's powerful. Yeah, that is a good one. Yeah, we should do a concession stand specifically from the uh, Tree of Might <laughs> Ocean dub and not nothing else. Might. Yeah, Tree of Might. Um, but yeah, naming things is tough. It's especially weird now that like we're at a point where um, enough people know the original Japanese name that it becomes annoying for people trying to translate it. It's like, well... Yeah, like I know that they wanted to... Well, it's weird because I feel like in Japanese, isn't Kaba's name Kyabe or whatever? Yeah, I think that, so. And everyone was like, "That's not how you fucking localize," because that's not the the local the pun works if you name him Kaba because it's cabbage. But if you name him Kyabe, we're all just like, "What the fuck is that?" Shit. But then with with Topo, they were like, "Yeah, it's just top." Do you <laughs> you could have just left the O on the end. Yeah, it, it it fit perfectly fine. And also with... I think they just got really lucked out with Hit. Like, that Hit was just across the board. This guy's just named Hit. <laughs> that was them from... Shit. I don't have to do shit for this one at all. Uh, but yeah, naming, naming shit is tough. And speaking of uh, naming shit, get back to Roshi. Get back to the man of the hour. His super attack is the Mafuba, uh, Evil Containment Wave. Uh, his passive skill is defense 150% up at the start of turn, and then attack 628% up, defense minus 100%, when, and perform a critical hit when you're performing a super attack once only, and then both you and Roshi get stunned. So the enemy gets stunned, and Roshi gets stunned, and that's the end of that one. And the passive skill is power self-sacrifice. His link skills are Tutor, Turtle School, Infighter, Supreme Warrior, Brainiacs, World Tournament Champion, The Incredible Adventure, and Fierce Battle. And his category is, of course, the Childhood Saga. And this Roshi is just always in the banners now. He's not locked to anything. Uh, it really annoys me that they call Dragon Ball the Childhood Saga. So I figured out why. It finally, I, it finally dawned on me why they called it that and not Dragon Ball. It's be- it, It's Dragon Ball Z. Is comedic prequel? No, it's because they're not <laughs> including um, Ma Junior. It's specifically. Oh, oh really? Yeah. So okay, the... I'm less mad about. That. Yeah. So the cutoff date is right before the time skip after this specific point, and then that is in its own weird Nexus universe. Because I noticed this because um, the teenage Goku isn't in this category as well. The uh, foot Kamehameha uh, Goku, he isn't in this category. That's interesting. It is. It almost makes me feel like, does that mean that World Tournament later on is actually going to be made a legit? Because there's some World Tournament dudes that would be interesting to see as, like, actual legit units. And it's specific. It would be. I like the World Tournament cast. Yeah, they, they're they very, like, I like World Tournament because it gives you a chance to be like, I don't know, here's a fucking wolf with a knife. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get it done. <laughs> were great at having like and serious characters but then because they had those preliminary rounds then like the early fights mm-hmm. where you have to show what your characters can do they can fill it with dumbass bullshit with night yeah they can even have i also like that eventually that um one of the characters that they kill off early eventually becomes like explains hercules entire backstory like hercules master uh, he's the dude that was the previous champion that I think is killed by Piccolo Jr. Or he's it's killed by someone. Chow that killed, it's 
Tau that kills him, I'm pretty I, sure. Okay, he's killed by Tau, and then from that point on, he, like, thinks that Key Blast are, like, some kind of weird evil weapon, and that explains why Hercule just refuses to accept the fact that there is magic, that he thinks that, like, now obviously these people cheated to kill my master. Never explained or brought up. <laughs> it's something you have Not to... even once. Yeah. <laughs> it's his backstory, and it's never brought up, except for, oh, like, in other material. But yeah, I like the world tournament itself, so I'll be interested to see if that means, like, they might start actually giving respect to world tournament like they did uh, Dragon Ball. But again, who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, I don't like the fact that this, the, the, this... There's one thing that bothers me about this Master Roshi, and it's the fact that he does not have the Dragon Ball link. Ooh. Yeah, that really hurts, especially considering that uh, his his passive skill is hilarious. There's, like, no, like, um, fighting the fact that for one turn, Roshi kills whoever the fuck he wants to kill. There's almost no yeah, stop. The, the, like, 700% attack or whatever, that's so funny. It's so funny, and also, like, even after he's gone, at least he's, like, uh, for one turn after he gets hit, he's useless, but then he keeps defense 150% up. So, um, even if you use it super early by mistake, at least you'll have a giant blocking old man to help you take things down. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love the fact that they made specifically this Roshi, and then they based it off the moment where he locks up uh, Demon King Piccolo. There's no way for, there was no way for them to actually kill Master Roshi. Like, if there was a way for him to be X'd out and then replaced by, like, a Cyberman or something, or, like, TN takes his place... A transforming Yoroshi and something like that. That would have been the only other thing, but I like the way that they actually built it, specifically from this one moment. And we've seen other units like the, uh, for example, all the Majin Vegetas and Super Saiyan 2 Gokus that are based off of one specific fight. And they're just kind of like always like weirdly, like their passives never feel fit with the the moment that they're in. Same thing goes for Majin Vegeta, like his self-sacrifice. He hits an AoE and it does not actually fit the fact that he was hitting one guy. Yeah. Or even, like, if you wanted to make it an AoE, I guess I can't, like, think of a better way to do it offhand, but it just never felt like it was actually that moment. Yeah, yeah. So, I really do think out of all the units, he's, it's, it's, if it was not for the fact for Kid Goku also existing, he's the one that I think is the most, like, care and thought put into his passive skill to actually match the moment that this card art is from. Which is when he uses the Mafuba against Demon King Piccolo. And also, I really like the fact that they just decided to give Roshi some fucking respect in this one. Yeah, Roshi is, now has better cards than Krillin. Nice. So that just means, again, we're building up for that moment for when we get the LR Kid, uh, Kid Krillin, Kid Goku, and Master Roshi. We'll get it. <laughs> yeah, one of these days. Yeah, is there, uh, is there any other things you want to say about uh, this Roshi here? I think we're both in agreement that we like the fact uh, that this guy exists. Yeah, no, I'm big. I'm big on it. I like him. Mm -hmm. I like him a lot. Oh. Need anything else? I like him. Uh, there is one other thing I actually want to bring up, is the fact that he has the Link skill World Tournament Champion, not in the World Tournament category. So... So again, there's right. like a. It really feels like they should have gotten rid of World Tournament Champion and just given him the DB link. That's like the one. That's like a small blemish on what is basically a great theming of a card. What is otherwise a perfect unit? Yeah, I don't know. What What are you feeling for this big for this boy, this very large boy? Um, point eight out of ten. Say it again. Like four point eight. Out of ten, hmm. yeah, I think I agree. That it's those two points where they screwed up his character slightly that is enough to make me go not the full five. Still, I like the I like him. I like him a lot. I like his gimmick. I like what he does. I like yeah, his yeah. He he's a good boy. I like I like a lot of I like a lot of what he's got going yeah. on. And again, his super attack of the Mafuba animated fan fucking tastically, and you can do it on anyone. So yeah. something about the Mafuba on like this is great. Yeah, just put it on Bulma for whatever reason. <laughs> like, okay. 
you didn't really need to do this at all, but I understand the hustle and respect it. Okay, that is Master Roshi. That is a 4.8 out of 5. And then we will go to our other big boy in the scale. It is the King of Evil World Demon King Piccolo. And this is the TUR version because the uh, SSR version is his uh, old form. And his leader... Yeah, his leader skill is uh, Childhood Saga Category, 3 Key Attack, HP, and Defense, 120, or STR Extreme Types, Key Plus 3, Attack and Defense, 90%, and HP. Um, the Explosive Demon Flash is a super attack. His passive skill is True Frightening Strength. De- defense, 100% up, Key Plus 3, and Attack, 200% up for 5 turns from start of turn. Then after the five turns, he gets key plus two and attacking 120% starting from the fifth turn. From the sixth turn, I mean. So after the sixth turn hits, uh, his 200% uh, attack increase is replaced with 120%. And his link skills are Thirst for Conquest, Demon, Strength and Unity, The Incredible Adventure, Guidance of the Dragon Balls, Nightmare, Fierce Battle, and his categories are Resurrected Warrior, Namekian, and Childhood Saga. Uh, right off the bat, I fucking love his super attack in this one. It is like, like it is a very basic wave, but the way that the camera literally like does three quick cuts to his face as he's doing it is great. It's funny how this game can make in stuff like that's just a fucking key blast, mm-hmm. and it looks really cool, and then it can make shit like uh, final battle from cell and gohan look like absolute dog shit like it's so crazy to me yeah and a lot of that is thankfully with time like especially as i've been using lr gohan to farm up the super saiyan 3 go tanks the way that the characters no sell it until vegeta comes in it bothers me a lot but i think they realized eventually like don't show the enemy until they're about to get hit that's the only time you need to show them and then you can replace them with like a puff of smoke or something um like they've gotten better with that, but like, yeah, that's that's a that's a much better way to do it yeah. than how they were doing it before. You should work within your limitations, not try and surpass them when you know for a fact this is gonna. You shouldn't one hundred percent try and do it if you know for a fact it's not gonna look the same or as good. Uh, right. Yeah, work within your limitations, and uh, in terms of passive skill, I think it's a pretty interesting that he's one of those dudes who like are super strong at the first five turns but then if you hit the sixth turn and you're somehow still not done with the fight yet then at least he gets to keep 120 percent attack it's not like units who literally like um super saiyan blue kaioken who literally lose everything (laughs) i mean they didn't have a great pass at the start but that's the way i see it is like okay if if you are somehow take if you take more than five turns at least you know that he's still gonna deal some damage he's not gonna be maybe he's designed almost like they talked about transforming and they yeah. were like well let's do the opposite of that yeah yeah it's very interesting in that way and it's it's also funny because it uh he is the exact counter of um goku who goku kid goku gets stronger as the fight goes on and uh demon king starts super strong and then when it hits around the sixth turn when it would be kid goku at full strength he's actually a little bit weaker at that point so I'm pretty sure they did that. Yeah, very, I'm pretty sure they did that by accident. But I do like the fact that that kind of like mirror verse of it kind of uh, shows. It's a good way of showing like, okay, yeah, these two characters are fighting each other. And this is how we kind of show that Kid Goku over the course of the fight gets stronger. And Kid Pic- uh, King Piccolo starts that way. But then as the fight goes on, still strong, just not as strong as when he started when you compare it to Kid Goku. Uh, it, these are the well, so- one of the first cards that feel like they're actually fighting each other yes Look, they are looking at each other menacingly yeah it's a it's a welcome cry from something like the the super saiyan blue um vegito and the the rose who are like oh look they're looking at each other no these actually feel yeah. like characters that Same are legit the other person. yeah these dudes are actually fighting each other and uh and it just shows how much, like, when Dokkan wants to get on its top shit, it can actually do extremely good things. If it actually wants to put in the effort, it could be great. Yeah. And I really do think that they put a lot of effort into these guys, specifically knowing that if this is the only time they're going to do it, then they may as well 
make this shit as clean as possible. Because you already, I feel like there's already like even when it hit number one, people were like, "Oh, I didn't expect that." And then you have people going like, "Oh man, it's a shame everyone's going to be skipping this guy when he comes to Global." And I'm like, "If Global skips Kid Goku, then Global does not deserve Kid Goku." That's the way I see it. Global is going to skip him. Don't even put him in. Yeah, like no, fuck that. Like, come on, let's be real here. If they're if they're looking at these units the way that they're and they're good ass units and they're going like, "No, no, I'm good." I'm going to save for, like, I don't know, who the fuck would even be coming up? Metal Cooler? No, Metal Cooler will already be out. <laughs> Kid, into uh, Goku Black? I don't know. But the point is, is, like, oh, I guess next would be Vegeta. So they would go, if they're going to be skipping the DB units for Vegeta. No, Vegeta they're getting oh, now. Oh, yeah, for, for transforming Vegeta? Yeah, they're getting him now. So I don't know. I don't know. It's a lot of those don't things, like. skip him. Don't skip him. Idiots. He's awesome. Yes. Don't skip. That's the basic thing, is that if you love these units, you should pull for them, especially if you want Dokkan to understand like, no, you should make more units like this. They will never get that if, unless you literally show your money at them. <laughs> and it sucks that you have to do yeah. that. But, you know, thank God for whales. Thank God for the Japanese whales saving us for this one. So so you're the opposite of, of Joseph? Yes, I want to thank the Japanese. Please praise the Japanese. <laughs> Oh, God. Thank God for the Japanese, I say as I shake my hand up in the air and thanks. I will never forget the Japanese. <laughs> Wokey 2019. I will never forget what the Japanese have done for me. Exactly. Uh, and with that said, how do you feel about Demon King Piccolo? We're not really talking that much about the unit, but I think he's actually very good. Yeah, no. Um... Another four and a half. Yeah, I think that's fair. I think um, if I think if there was more of some Demon King support, he would have been a little bit better. But as it stands now, like there's just not enough. Like I like that is the, the childhood saga, and he's always in the in the game now. I do like that he's on Resurrected Warriors and some other stuff, so he has a little bit more teams he can fit on besides uh the just the the childhood saga one, but. Yeah, a four four and a half is good for Demon King Piccolo. He's got a lot of good stuff going on. I like I like the way he looks angry, and also his old version has a super attack that also has some effort put into it, and you're never gonna see it. <laughs> so fun times. So let's just do a quick review here. We got Roshi coming in with a four point eight out of five on the big boy scale, and we have Demon King Piccolo with a four point five out of five for the big boys like it yep i like it too like the db units good job dokon again for these specific units you done good <laughs> you did good yeah yeah they're really great <laughs> this is like the one time i my land units in a long, long time and i've been like yeah this is fucking great yeah this must be what the g what the what the seven gt fans must have felt when they got theirs <laughs> Oh, just kidding. Just kidding out there, all you GT fans. Enjoy your fucking meal. Don't come to me. <laughs> fans. <laughs> Finally right. getting to eat, so just eat and then move on. Yeah, and then also you get to enjoy uh, Legends getting it. Actually, while I look up for questions, why don't you talk about the fact that we literally jinxed uh, Legends into getting GT units? Yeah, we talked so much shit on GT and Dokkan, and then last... <laughs> We uh we haven't had anybody that has to get and I guess Legends heard us talking to ourselves. Let's fucking do it then. Yeah. All right it... now sitting here waiting for goddamn Rildo. Uh, why Rildo? Why is it, why is it always Rildo to start the shit? Whatever. I, I mean, I guess he's the first villain, but like. Yeah. He is that he is technically the first villain, so I understand. But also, um, I mean, I guess it's the same thing with like DBZ. They start with Raditz, and Raditz is never like the go the go to guy you think of. He's the cool with the real though. Yeah, he is. All right, I got the questions. Now we are going on to questions. Thank you for everyone who sent in questions. Send it in is obviously when I ask for them on Twitter, or just leave a comment on YouTube. Both get read. We'll start with the YouTube questions. 
Uh, first question goes in for... This is from Storm Gaming HD, who asks, Where is Blazing Bash Kid Hinata on the big boy scale? Throwback to the April Fool's Day Naruto Blazing podcast. So, um... I think that I think it's safe to now reveal that I don't actually play Blazing. So I just know the fact never that they're did. <laughs> Yeah, I never did. I did once for like the first hour it was released and I said this game's not for me and uninstalled it. Uh which it seems like I kinda dodged the bullet on that one, considering all things considered. Uh, it's a real letdown nowadays. I hear that a lot, and that's a shame for all the Blazing players out there. Especially from the two, the two most experts on blazing from Two B Rasengan, uh, our hearts go out to them. Pour out a forty in respect to for all the blazing people out there. <laughs> but I don't know. How do you feel True. about? How do you feel about blazing bash kid Hinata, uh, Zen? By kid, do they uh, mean like? Was... What age is kid in the Nar in the Naruto part, game? Part one, part one, Hinata. Okay. It's not like the super young. tiny one. No, 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 no. Not, uh, is a baby. He not a, no. Okay. Um, yeah, no, she was good. For a while, if I remember correctly. Also, Hinata is best girl. And our mantra on that uh, episode was don't lose the, the lolies. Yes. Out of five. What? Say it again one more time. I'd say a three out of five. I say three out of five is respect- it for Kid Hinata. I'd say that's a good place for her. I also like Hinata a whole bunch. She's cool. She got yeah, the sh- good. She got the shit beat out of her by Neji in that one episode. That was pretty cool. Yeah, she sure did. Jesus, that was rough. That was a real fucking rough ass episode. Um, yeah, in terms of uh, Naruto fights, that specific fight, I'll give a 4 out of 5, especially since that's the same fight that eventually gave us the ultimate, like, this is the only fight people will mention from now on, which is Rock Lee versus Gara. <laughs> so. Yeah, God. Fucking Crunchyroll. Fucking Crunchyroll. And I really do like that fight. Time to repost that scene. Trying to repost that scene. I really do like that fight, but it's specifically for the ending of that fight, where Rock Lee is knocked down and he stands up. That's the most wrestling-ass moment Naruto has ever had. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the question. Next question comes in from X Nighthawk One Nineteen X, who asks, "How would you rate the Kaioken times twenty Goku from the Namek Saga on the big boy scale?" I don't think that's a unit in the game. I think that's just how do we feel about times twenty Kaioken on Namek? That's a unit. Is it? Yeah, it's uh, it's the isn't that the awakening of AGL Kaioken? Oh, if it is, then that's a he's a god yeah, out of ten. Sure. Let me let me look it up, but I'm pretty sure th- it is. I thought that I thought that was a Namek Saga. I thought that was Saiyan Saga. Oh, because remember, it does the uh, it does the full combo that he did to Frieza. Oh, okay. So that that that's that's a uh, that's uh that's um Kaio God then. It, it, it's the tur kyo god okay so we already uh, i'm gonna say can't be scaled can't be scaled it's can't a it's a cosmic scale it's a cosmic unit so we have to hold him up for later cosmic units it's like it, trying to scale zeno like you can't no n- not possible not possible thank you for the question though uh last one from youtube says this is for the next TBR. Besides Rayleigh, really, what's the one Dokkan Fest exclusive character that you'd want from the entirety of Dragon Ball, including movies? Uh, hmm, who's left? Dr. Wheelow? The the man who's a brain in a jar? <laughs> I think that'd be funny. Uh, yeah, Robot Brain Man. Yeah, ro- there's Robot Brain Man, there's Garlic Jr., who people are still like... I feel like there's really no way to do Garlic Jr. and for him to be actual Garlic Jr. Unless there's a specific time limit on your team that says if you do not win within this many turns, you get sucked into the dead zone. Hit pull right into the goddamn dead zone. Yeah, yeah. that would be pretty good. So if there was like a Garlic Jr. who's like, uh, it's a transforming Garlic Jr., but if you reach 10 turns, like he has like his passive attack goes up to 500%, but if you hit turn 10 it literally says dead zone is opened and then nothing more 
<laughs> so if you reach turn 10 and he gets to uh you get to turn 10 the dead zone opens up and it just says automatic fail <laughs> You you just see him get sucked into the dead zone and it ends. Yeah, and then uh, you can't even use a stone to recover at that point because if you do, every time Garley Jr. shows up, he'll just kill you. <laughs> I'll say that. I'll, I'll That's give really it, good. I'll give it to Garley Jr. on that one. If it's not him, then it's just a, an actual Krillin as SSR. <laughs> if only to let D free rest. If only to make him... If, <laughs> to finally let him have peace. Yeah, for him to have peace. It's so that Legends isn't the only one that can give him a playable Krillin. What do you feel? Um, Hang on, I have to find out. It's my answer is kind of a cheat because it's the character that's already in the game. Ooh. Kyle God again. Yeah, I want the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, a, another one. <laughs> What uh, is this from? I legitimately have no idea. I have no idea either. Oh, okay, hang on. Oh, or is it from? What well, I, I think it's the Android arc, Boma. Hair, and she's in the. the that says Bulma. Oh, the the one that's a uh, the, the the that's an item. Is it an item? I think so. The what the specific Bulma you're talking because I know every Bulma card, and that doesn't sound like a current one in there. On, hang on, I'm gonna get you a picture. Okay. Because that would be funny if that is in fact. Uh... I have to remember the, for this. The one, specific... on the... the one on the far end, the last one. Lee. <laughs> okay, where where did you put it? I sent it to the wrong guy. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> Some, somebody, somebody's just going to get a very... Oh, we did not get this Bulma. Uh, that's Goat Bulma. Uh, we need that. We do need this. Holy shit, you're right. Yeah. It... That's a fantastic Bulma. Now this this might be the fact that I'm looking at Bulma speaking, but this is a fantastic Bulma. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Yes, yeah, no a... issue with this Bulma at all. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, we we definitely need one for that. I want to say, isn't that? I thought is this really from Androids? I thought it was the build up to going into space. I maybe I I thought. That they were in order because it's part of a bigger picture that has like a million balm outfits and i thought that they were in series like appearance order yeah so yeah because in, the... in this one it, she's but she, she's wearing this after her namek clothes in the hmm. maybe it's i think this is what she wears on earth hmm. back okay uh looking at this i kind of wish there was a transforming bulma that just changed clothes her next outfit every turn yeah and then uh the final form is the one <laughs> where she wears when she shows uh master roshi her vagina by accident so that would be <laughs> that would be her spe- is, that is the outfit she wears krillin yamcha Tien, and chaotzu on earth with uh Parunga. okay okay that makes sense all right the mystery solved. I think that'd be a pretty good Bulma to add. We could definitely use at least another Bulma. LR Bulma. We need LR Bulma. Calling it now. Yes. LR. Bulma, tra- every single turn. <laughs> From her very first appearance to her last one. Perfect. I would say so. All right. That's the uh, YouTube questions for now. I'll now go on to the... Um, the Twitter questions. Not a lot here, but there's some good ones in here. It's the reason there's not a lot because I threw it up randomly in the middle of the night when Zen wasn't awake, so he could not retweet it to other people. Oof. Yikes. It happens, but it's all good. I just um, want to update before we can, we start with this that the I sent it and I said, oops, wrong guy. And his response was, is it really the wrong guy? You've seen my Twitter likes. So. <laughs> oh, can I guess who it is? Is it my? No. Hmm. Oh, it's it's Lee. 
Oh, it's Lee. Okay. So you yeah. sent it by accident, but it all worked out in the end. It's a Lee on accident, but it's all better. <laughs> it all makes sense. All right, everyone. Let's see. Let's get into these questions. The first one comes in from Koki, who asks, I've been sending questions to TVR and Modcast for over 10 years, and I can't believe Zen doesn't know my name. It's literally pronounced the same as Wokey, but with a W replaced with a K. Koki. But as Cookie is an acceptable nickname as well. Hope you are all well, and I love you. Happy face. Oh, yeah, a question. So calling him Cookie because Cokie sounds like he's, like, that's what you'd call someone who's on drugs. It's true. Cokie is, well, let's see. Maybe if I say it like, you know what it is? Oh, Cookie. It's the crabby sound. Cookie, cookie. It is. Oh, my God. You're right. Well, this is unfortunate for you, Cookie, because well out to your new nickname, Cookie, Cookie. So, <laughs> the second part of Cookie Cookie's question is, oh yeah, question, do you think that the category metal will ever end, and do you see the reason for it too? Back in the 70% and 120% metas, units were bad because they didn't work with their leader, but now units can have many varied teams and sometimes more than one leader. And that is from Cookie, or hashtag Retorico, and then the, 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 the face mask of Retorico, <laughs> the, uh, the mark of Retorico. Um, I don't think category metas will ever end. I think they're they're too far in now. I agree, and I also don't think they need to. Yeah, I think they're fine. That's it was a rough go in the beginning, but they're at the place now where the only problem is when sometimes they make a category and it's the same basic category as another, except for this one unit can't be on it. <laughs> you can see that in a uh, future saga and um android saga i think who share almost 50 percent of the same units except for some small differences no it's androids and like artificial life forms there you go i think artificial life forms can use majin boo but they can't use some other ones it's unusual yeah i think it makes sense just because like back in the category meta you had the unfortunate thing of like it was possible for the uh, leader to completely kill a unit. Like, I know that Omega being Omega killed Gogeta on STR. Because you couldn't run... Oh, Go yeah, that's right. You couldn't run Gogeta with Omega because he shared none of the links. Uh, he literally... he Like, Omega has... Uh, the I mean, Gogeta had every good key link except for Shocking Speed, the one that Omega actually had. So... And it, it also caused a situation of, like, if the leader was bad, then, um, like, for example, Buhan, uh, Ants had problems with Buhan eventually because Buhan ended up being their catalyst. And eventually it was found out that Buhan was a fucking fraud and his healing wasn't that good once the potential system literally gave his ability to heal to everyone. Yeah, man, they, Buhan really got exposed hardcore exposed like no person has fallen as hard as buhan because buhan for a lot of people buhan thought that he was on par with super vegeto and that ended up being not the case at all it ended up being like actually super vegeto's counter has withstood the test of time and buhan is actually a very shitty healer mm -hmm. with uh yeah and it's unfortunate that I, maybe he'll get an easy a and actually get better but yeah, I think for right now, categories are here to stay. There's just no reason to go full one element except for when you're fighting an easy A. And, <laughs> and even then, you still fight within the category itself. So, Thank you for the questions. <laughs> Next question comes in from Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Johan, who asks, What are you going to get me for Saiyan Day? The answer is Int Goku Black Banner, and he has given us, once again, the picture of Int uh, Goku... Uh, uh, not in it is goku black as rose on his phone and there's a goku doll goku doll right to the side so i'll say to you super saiyan god johan the same thing as always uh he's coming in a week he's coming <laughs> get your stones good ready luck good luck uh thank you for your continuing hype for it intelligent goku black you feel like it's the, you're the only one <laughs> but beat that drum. let it end Never let it in. Next one comes, uh, next, uh, person is Big Bun Yay, hashtag Pesky Gang B. 
Love the content and the bunny O Pokemon. He was the one who was our execute. Yeah, we caught him Pokemon Yellow for the Safari Zone special. But uh, if you would make any improvements to gacha games in general, what would you do? Now, um, free multis every day. <laughs> it would just be that. Because <laughs> I like pulling, but I don't like using my stone amount to pull, but I like pulling. So if I could just pull yeah. every day, that'd be think, awesome. Uh, my change would be mandatory... Say it again. Mandatory what? Uh, mandatory mercy rules. Like, it shouldn't be a, wow, this banner is great because if I get completely shit on 800 times, I can get a copy. Like, every banner should do that. One okay. Point in any game where if you just get fucked that bad, you just get what you want. Also, good mercy rules. I'm looking at you, Dragalia, fucking warm print breaking mercy rule bullshit. Yeah, no, no, none of that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> none of that shit. Because that's the same reason why a lot of people thought, like, oh, if we, the fake go would never have the mercy rule, because they would just do what your Gralia does, and your craft essences would break your mercy rule, and nothing would be solved. The mercy rule should be a good a good thing. It should actually be merciful. Or an item or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You should, the mercy rule should make you feel like Endeavor when he put his hands up. It's a victory. But at what cost? <laughs> uh, thank you for the question. I hope you still enjoy being an execute. Sorry you couldn't be one of the thousand Nidoran we caught. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, but it's all good. We uh, Thank you for your executing this, for being an egg. Next question comes in from Wet Towelettes, who asks, Don't know if I'm too late to submit questions. But what has been the highlight of your day? Uh, I'm going to let you go because I've been awake for like, what, four hours? So uh, the highlight of my day today, uh, it ending. Mm, that's always good. Uh, uh, the, I had the rattlesnake burrito, the fry burrito from Taco Bell. Um, it is uh Good. I like that. It is uh, horrible for me because I can feel the terribleness as I eat what like is... Like a Taco Bell kind of sore. I am. It's true. Uh, so for those of you who do not know what the rattlesnake burrito is, it is technically called the, the steak rattlesnake fry burrito. So it is jalapenos, french fries, and steaks wrapped into a burrito. <laughs> Jesus. This yeah, it's uh, it's something fucking. It also has jalapeno sauce all over it. So even if you don't bite into the jalapeno, which jalapeno has a weird taste to it, it has like kind of a soury taste, especially as someone who's not used to eating jalapenos like me. Uh, but sometimes you get just pure steak and fry, and I feel that's when the burrito is at its top game. When you throw in like the when all the jalapenos are at the bottom, you get a bad burrito experience because you get nothing but burrito. You get nothing but jalapeno juice at the end. Not what you want. Trust me. That sounds bad. Yes. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a pretty good burrito. It's not the best burrito I've had in the world. But in terms of Taco Bell burritos, I would say it's somewhere in the middle. Middle of the pack. It's worth a shot for the novelty of eating a french fry and steak in a burrito form. And that was the highlight of my day. I wish this was asked last week where I could talk about... No, I wish it was like a couple days ago. Then I could talk about me fucking falling. Fucking eating shit on the middle of the road. <laughs> well, not in the middle of the road. At the beginning of the road. Uh, you know what's fun? Let me show you how loving my family is. Is that after I fell down, could barely get up, had to be helped up by a uh, concerned citizen who was... Uh, who was... Uh, by the grace of God, was there to help pick me up and then also pick up my drink because they realized that uh, I would not be able to bend over and get it <laughs> myself. Um, I got home. I was literally tired. Everything felt bad. I I crawled my ass towards my brother and sister who were sitting in a room and I talked about my experience. And for the next 20 minutes, it was nothing but nonstop gut busting and making fun of the fact that I fell down. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds right. 
Yeah, it was great because I would say like, oh yeah, I was there in the middle of the road and then like I would I was telling cars, go around <laughs> as I told them to <laughs> And my sister just on the side and just like losing her mind saying that boy down go around <laughs> a um, caring family is what that is it is a caring family that uh laughs <laughs> through all the pain of everything and then i had the great response of the next day because i forgot to tell my mom that i fell down and i'm like she's like what's wrong with you i'm like oh i fell down and it was like it was really bad and she's like why the fuck didn't you tell me what is wrong with you it's like, well, I, I told the the others that they just kind of laughed at me. It's like, they're monsters. That's why. <laughs> they don't give a shit. It's true. They don't. Uh, so, yeah, that, I hope that answers the highlight of the day. Zen's about to go to bed, and I ate a burrito. Pretty good day. Thumbs up. In ter- around. Also, in terms of other highlights, I just like uh, recording stuff with Zen. That's always fun. Yeah, those are always good yeah definitely that's Uh, why it's 90 percent of our content it's true the only thing that sucks is that i wish the internet was better (laughs) so that people didn't hear you as a robot every five seconds yeah that would be good but it is what it is Mm -hmm. Uh, next question comes in from hedegardo and then he has b he says, what 70 percent lead do you think gets the EZA next? For me, I want Buhan. If it's not Buhan, then they have fucked up. <laughs> I'm going to say that right now. If it's not Buhan next, why the fuck are they doing anything? Because... It would be really Buhan was last. I get... Uh, like, who who besides Buhan needs... A f- physical Broly is the only other person I can think of in terms of who needs it. It's him or Physical Broly next, but Buhan has literally been on life support for... Since the 120% meta. Since potential yeah. system. He doesn't even have the same followers as Super 17. Where there will be people who will defend Super 17. Who says he just needs a dupe. Nobody stands for Buhan. Nobody stands for Buhan. <laughs> Not wrong. Mm-hmm. Thank you for the question. Next question comes in from Ise Nino. Who asks... Is Wooper your favorite Pokemon? If so, what made you what made him your favorite Pokemon? Um I think he's definitely one of my favorites. And if I had to actually think sit down and think about it, I think because of how much of Wooper art I found, I've ended up loving Wooper, but uh Oh, I know I remember now. Okay, so the Wooper thing started because a lot of people I guess don't understand that. I think I've never even told you why all of a sudden when I joined Twitter, I decided to start with just a whooper as my uh, avatar and then never changed it once since. <laughs> but uh, the idea was that... Oh, no, I also don't know. No. Uh, so whooper was a running joke between two of my... Uh, me and two other friends who I will call uh, Nap. And the other one is uh, Lerp. So Nab and Lerp, one is Canadian and the okay. other one is a trash raccoon. Uh, they used to help me write uh, best of the rest because I would tell them like, what do you think about this unit? And they didn't give a shit about Dokkan. And then they would give me suggestions and I would change the list based on what they said. <laughs> Just to show you how best of the rest used to be uh, formatted. Uh, but yeah, uh, uh, we used to joke around with Whoopers a bunch, and then eventually I looked into the card art of Whooper, like all the TCG art of Whooper, and it was fucking hilarious seeing all the different like art of Whooper as he was in like these cards. Like for some reason, Whooper with no arms, no legs, no anything looks fucking hilarious. There's just We're some kind of hilarious in general. Yes, yeah, they do. But Whooper has like stands the test of time because. I don't know, just something about his, like, demeanor. And then I think a lot of people who actually like drawing Wooper understand that, and they lean into the fact that he looks like a giant-ass goober who never stops smiling, <laughs> regardless of the situation. <laughs> so for that very much, just for his devil-may-care attitude, and his just like, oh, yeah, life is pretty good right now. That's why I love Wooper, Whoopers now. So that's kind of where the Wooper thing started. It was me and my friends literally sharing TCG old art of Wooper going like, Look at this fucking whooper. And we would go, hell Look at yeah. This fucking whooper. Look at this fucking whooper. Whooper is your god now. 
And so that's why when I joined Twitter, it was in the height of the Whooperdom. And I said, eh, Whooper's cool. <laughs> I'll let Whooper be my thing. And he is. And I love him. But, and that's like that. Yeah, massive respect. Sometimes... And also, I like sticking to an idea. Like, once I changed Gene from the mod, uh, when I got my mod flare, it never changed from Gene. A lot of other people have... Uh, well, the only other person I think who has kept theirs as much as me is Sahal, who has been the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan since he's joined. Um, mine has been the same basic Gene, except for one time I put her Super Saiyan when all the Aurelis were released. <laughs> And if I was going to do an update, she would be Super Saiyan God levels now, but I don't, uh, I just don't have it in me to, to, first of all, bother the person who's like, can you do me a flare update just so I can have red hair now? <laughs> like, no, it's, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good on that one. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's my favorite Pokemon, Whooper, currently. And I think with Zen, we've talked about his love for Sandrews, but I'm not sure if that's your favorite. It is not. It's one of, if I had to pick a team of six, mm-hmm. I'd be on, on it. But my favorite is a uh, uh, Breloom. Oh yeah, Breloom's pretty good too. Breloom, love I've, of Breloom. I think he shares some of the same qualities of Wooper in some cases. <laughs> Just the way his look, his overall look, has a very fun look. He's, yeah, he's so dopey but adorable. Dopey, adorable. Also, of course, your. I think what you meant to call if you were gonna have a six a team of six Pokemon, your full course Pokemon team. Yes. yes exactly. Exactly. Uh, thank you for the question, and I, I'm gonna say, oh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give this one out because it's a good question. But I'm gonna say Nighthawk is double dipping by talking to us on Twitter and on YouTube. But Nighthawk asks, how would you rate yourself, Zenrot and Sahal on the big boy scale? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's let's look at this scientifically. What version of Zahal are we putting on the big boy scale? Is it? Uh, we done here, boys, Sahal? Is it, I just got fucked, Sahal? Or is it, oh my god, for go- fake go, will you please give me a fucking different SSR, <laughs> you piece of shit game, Sahal? They're all good questions. Um, I, I want to rank my fa- favorite Sahal, which is extreme confidence for no reason, Zahal. Uh, it is the uh, borderline Vegeta level Zahal confidence? Yeah. It... That is basically Vegeta as a haul. I still laugh my ass off every single time I think about that one time hard about how you're a complete just fucking idiot. The new Vegeta and Janemba are going to be hero and villain leads, and they were not. <laughs> Funny was... as shit. It's so <laughs> That one was good, and then also, of course, the classic Super Vegito is bad. The Super Saiyan Vegito yeah, is the bad. classic... Uh classic rip boys it's rip boys super he vegeta was the best character in the game for like a year bar none yeah i will you know what let's say we're putting up that's a haul i will give that's a haul five out of five because it is extremely amazing to watch it's so good uh, yeah. i will say he gets some undeserved flack on twitter now he Where does. Now he can literally say, like, I really love this unit, but I wish this one thing was different. Wow, is the hall here to bash the new shit? Yeah, that's... Still, I just can't stop thinking confident he was in yeah. the Gogeta and Janemba being hero and villain leads to the point that he was, like, getting frustrated that people were questioning him on it. Like, what's fucking wrong with you? Of course they're gonna be, you idiot. He... <laughs> yeah, that was a... Uh... That was a very special time. And again, I will also agree with... It's so funny. I will agree with the fact that there's some Twitter things where it's like... There's some people who are like clearly joking on this Zahal thing. And then there are people who are not joking on with this Zahal thing. So the ones who aren't joking don't under... It's it's one of those things of like... I don't think you understand that we're friends. And you. I don't know if you know him the same level as this. So I don't know why you're attacking him for literally saying yeah. the most smallest thing the internet because like times too where people will be like and i'm like wow fuck you and the response is like wow man i was just kidding you don't gotta get crazy about it um it's that if we don't know you we don't know how to take that right like you might be just like the nicest guy in the whole world but there's a level of familiarity that comes with 
kindness like that that's required. Be playfully shitty to someone you've never know how to handle it. They don't know how to interact with what you're doing. Mm-hmm. So that's a different level of there there. And uh, again, Zahal, great guy. Uh, overconfidence. I would say overconfidence. Zahal. That's a five out of five on the big boy scale. That's a that's a very overconfident mm-hmm. boy. Super Vegeta waiting for her perfect cells. Zahal is absolutely. It's that. It's one hundred percent that. And let's see. Can we actually put ourselves on this on the big boy uh, scale? That's the real question. Here, here, I'll I'll rate you and you rate me. We can't rate ourselves. That's obvious. Yeah, I agree with that one. Okay. You go first on this one, and specify the specific version of that, because uh, there's different versions that you. Oh can... yeah, there are different versions. Hmm. Oh man, we might have to do another question while we think on this one, and then we'll answer. You know what? This one might be so big that we might have to save it. That was also our last question. We'll save. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll <laughs> save our 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 rankings for one another. For next time. For next episode. Because that takes some, some thought. Yeah. Next episode, I'll just say right now who will be on the big boy scale. It should be, hopefully, the new transforming Vegeta, copy Vegeta, and then it will be Wookie and Zenrot on the big boy scale. <laughs> and I like it. Yeah, and also just to really show off the fact that um, the differences between our twos is that the, the legend scale is protected. <laughs> Ours is not. Mine is not. The duck on scale is whatever it wants to be. Exactly, and it's it one hundred percent. You know, respect the freedom in that. So you know that there's yes, you cannot have both. Pe- you can't have two people being full chaotic. You need one person in order and the other one full freedom. It's like the Catherine ending. It's full freedom or it's order. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for sending in questions. Uh, you can send in questions again by leaving a YouTube comment or waiting for when I ask for them on Twitter. Uh, this has been another episode. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, why don't you say goodbye, Zen? Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you later. We love you, overconfidence. We love you, overconfidence. The Hall, who is a five out of five on the list. Joins the ranks of other five out of fives of Gogeta, Chi-Chi, Aureli, Kid Goku. And over for confidence of the hall. Yeah. It's just that picture of the Hound Doom right there, right next to the others. <laughs> <laughs>